you'll need some wood cutouts. I chose these smaller hearts and these larger circles. You'll also need some acrylic paint, and I chose these colors, but obviously you can choose whatever colors you want. As you're working with paint, you're also going to want to make sure that you have some paint brushes. If you want your pins to have glitter, you're also going to want to purchase some glitter glue. You'll also need some pin bags. Next, you'll need some Mod Pod. And lastly, you'll need some glue. To start off, you'll need to print and cut out your image. I chose this picture of Jake Bug. Next, you'll want to paint the wood cut out. Depending on the thickness of your paint, you'll, you might need to do more than one coat. I ended up having to do two or three. And no gold is not this step is optional, so if you would not like glitter on your pin, just skip it. I'm taking a paintbrush to evenly spread the glitter along my wood cutout. After the glitter glue has had time to dry completely, Take some craft glue and put it on the back of the image. Then, attach the image onto the pin. At this point, your pin should look something like this. Apply Mod Podge to seal in the image and add a glossy finish. Using a hot glue gun, attach the pin back to the back of the cutout. And now you're done. I hope this was helpful and if you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.